G'day guys, it's Sam Danes from Ardento here. Hope you're well. Today I want to bring you a little bit of an overview and a little bit of a look at one of Zoho's newest applications, which is called Zoho Landing Page. Now Zoho Landing Pages was in beta over the past year in 2022 and recently came out of beta. It's now fully available for you to subscribe to. So the purpose of the Zoho landing page application is really to give you the ability to build uh, beautiful and attractive hosted landing pages or lead magnets, uh, pages that you can deploy either on a custom domain or on a Zoho domain, either you know to drive ad traffic to, social traffic to, or even just on your web page, and allow that data to be easily captured and integrated into a Zoho application of your choice. So I really want to just kind of give you a little bit of an overview of this product today, a little bit of a breakdown about what its capabilities are and, and what I like about it. Let's get straight into it. So you're going to see here, um, I'm logged into a Zoho landing page application. You can set up different workspaces and within those workspaces, you can have various pages published or in draft. This is a great way to share across teams. If you are kind of working with other teams, maybe in a marketing department and you want to be able to have different workspaces with different user access. Um, a couple of the other main options across the top here, we've obviously got users, we can give other access to other users in my team, invite them to collaborate with me on my landing pages. Domains is an important one. So Zoho will allocate you a .zoho landing page .com domain and you can have a, a subdomain of that. I've got Ardento dot there. So you can publish your landing pages to that. However, if you do want a custom domain or maybe an extension of your own domain, it does allow you to do that as well and verified SSL uh, certificate. So you can see here, I've set up a landing page called landing.ardento.com.au, sorry, a domain. I can now publish all of my Zoho landing page content to that domain. Integrations, and we'll come back to this in more detail, but obviously here, we have the ability to integrate natively to a wide range of applications. So obviously we want our lead data and an inquiry data going directly into our Zoho CRM and we can connect and map those fields from the landing page. We could also send it straight to a Zoho campaign list if we wanted to have that uh, inform our marketing list, we can do that. Um, Zoho Marketing Automation, um, begin if you're using the smaller version of Zoho CRM. Um, backstage, Zoho Meetings as well. And then even some non-Zoho CRM systems, you've got Keep HubSpot and Salesforce available there, as well as further email marketing applications. So quite a few integrations straight away out of the box there, guys. Um, look, a little bit of further configuration, we can filter. So if you, you, know, if you are getting a lot of bots or spam hit your landing pages, you can filter those out. Um, and likewise, you've got a little bit of um, customization or sorry, some statistical information around your account usage. So look, I'm gonna drill straight into my workspace here and, and have a look at what options I've got. I've got a, a, VAR, a few landing pages published specifically to this particular workspace. Um, it's gonna give you um, at a snapshot there sort of number of visitors. It's gonna track some conversion rate and a conversion percentage based upon what's happening with those landing pages. Um, as people uh, submit data across them. So look, I'm just gonna pick one here, um, a Zoho to Myob integration. It's giving us some metrics straight away. So this is absolutely gonna be advantageous for those marketers or digital marketers out there where you wanna see you know, how many people are hitting your page, um, what sort of visits you're getting, what sort of conversion rate and the average time spent on a page. Uh, you've also got um, a heat map, which is super useful as well. So we can see here um, where are people spending their time on the page? Where are they accessing uh, and hovering over? And you can see here, obviously, um, most of the people on this page are hitting our call to action button. That's where our heat map is. Um, it really kind of giving you the ability to be able to understand how many people are kind of navigating through that landing page and where on the landing page uh, they are spending their time. So great and useful if you wanna kind of be able to evaluate what's working and what's not. So let's have a look at um, the designer here. And if I wanted to kind of go into this particular landing page and edit that, um, I can come over to here and edit the page. Uh, 
And this opens up in a quite a modern um, user interface and a CMS, kind of familiar to the Zoho Sites application, if you've ever used that. Um, you know, we've got the ability to add text, widgets, um, we can drag sections around, we can manipulate CSS as well, as well as things like borders, shading, of course we can upload images, we can drag these sections around as necessary. So you can quite quickly put together a pretty basic and decent looking landing page without needing to go straight to a designer. However, if you do want to do some professional designing here, you've got the ability to really kind of take it to the next step with your CSS. You can add some animations and some scrolling actions as well. So if we want to have those sorts of features working in our landing page, that's available to us. Um, call to action. So here I've got a, a pricing guide where uh, the ability for a button to be embedded on our page. Um, and this is simply going to take us um, to a pop-up. So we can add a nice dynamic pop-up that will happen um, when the user clicks on that call to action button. And that's over here in our pop-up section. I can see that I've got a Zoho to my pop-up. And if I edit that, they're going to be presented um, with a pop-up window here. So that's another nice experience that gives the visitors um, when they visit the page. And then of course, when they submit or click on that pop-up, um, then they're going to go through to the next step, like either layer of integration, um, you know, or be able to sort of take the next steps there. So in that instance, if I look, if I take a look, we can create a new pop-up here as a good example. We can look at a templated library, which is worthwhile. Um, and we give it a name. Um, then we can add a form here if we want to. So I'm going to grab um, a form that I've already created and we'll say clone and add. This is just gives you that example here. But the main thing that we want to be able to, um, obviously we can format this uh, pop-up colors, text, image, etc. However, we can build out the integration, which is going to be a, an important part where we can say, look, we want this integration to go directly into our CRM. We choose the account, we choose the portal. We can choose to link it to a campaign, which is a nice feature, I think. If you are running a campaign that a landing page is associated with, you can choose to capture, say, that lead information against a campaign. I'm going to skip over that. And then, of course, here we're mapping the form fields to the specific fields that we've got in our CRM. So there's a lot of flexibility to map those fields, custom fields, etc. A little bit of duplication checking. I also love that you can add tags in this instance, so we can set a tag. Um, to be able to say whether you know we want to tag this record with a specific uh, landing page ID or a specific click ID or something like that so that we can really capture that detail in our CRM and get the reporting done in that respect. So uh, the pop-ups are a really great way to create the integration. You don't have to have pop-ups on your form to, ma uh, to get the integration. You can just have a form natively straight onto um, the landing page um, and in fact that will allow you to integrate just the landing page without a pop-up straight into your Zoho CRM. So the real message here is like a real easy way to create and publish these landing pages, have basic call to actions on them to capture your inquiry data, form data, etc and have that go into the CRM and to take that workflow a little bit further what I would suggest for those people out there looking to use landing pages and something like Zoho CRM is take the data that comes in as an inquiry and if you're asked if you're presenting them with a white paper or some sort of uh, digital document, pricing guide, video or some gated content, use Zoho CRM workflow to then send that content to your inquirer, to the recipient directly from the CRM. It's really gonna close that loop out. You're gonna be able to see who opened that email and have that analytical data in your CRM, which is really where you want your inquiry information. Of course, though, um, this, the, if you don't want to integrate landing pages with Zoho CRM or any CRM for any matter, you can actually just have all of the leads captured directly into your landing page as records and you can download that lead data um, and really grab that um, information out of the system here and choose to um, you know, follow up with those leads as necessary. We can see that it's capturing some of those there. 
So a lot of great features guys in Zoho landing page, really new application. It really rounds out that marketing automation and marketing side of Zoho suite. It isn't part of Zoho One just yet, but no doubt knowing Zoho, it will be added as part of the Zoho One package. Um, definitely check it out if you are looking to extend those marketing activities um, and maybe even create a trial uh, in Zoho landing pages and, and check it out for some of your own content. Hope that was useful, guys. Chat soon.